social media sure changes things, mm -hmm. right? People can post just about anything, and they do. Yeah, and the whole Milwaukee Facebook page is proof of that. The free-for-all Facebook group gets pretty nasty at times, and it has become hugely popular. If you want groceries, you go to a grocery store. Want burgers? Your best bet's a burger joint. And if you want gas, a gas station would be a no-brainer, unless you want this kind of gas. In that case, you can head to the whole Milwaukee. The whole Milwaukee. Like on Facebook? The whole Milwaukee. I love it. Number one. The whole Milwaukee. To be exact. It needs to get shut down. It's, it's too much going on right there. The FCC would pound us if we showed you everything people post on this popular Facebook page. What do you think about the whole Milwaukee number one? <laughs> um, it could be very inappropriate at times. Misogynistic, sexually explicit, racially charged, teeming with hate, irreverent, insightful, insulting, sometimes funny, now and then newsworthy, and almost always controversial. Whoa! If street fights are your thing, you'll fit right into the celebration of violence in the comments section. The whole Milwaukee, it's, it just, I think it's for the whole Milwaukee to like connect. Oh, people connect all right. You'll see lots of stuff for sale, mostly drugs. And it's open source, it's out there. For the whole Milwaukee to see, including Milwaukee police. They can't tell you we use it as an investigative tool. And that's echoed by the attorney general. We have put together um, major drug trafficking cases based on starting with nothing more than a thread like that. Not like it's difficult. We found dozens of drug offers, others looking to buy gas, high-grade marijuana, or ERCs, Percocets, an opioid. Within a few minutes of texting, one dealer was OMW on my way. So you may be thinking, open drug deals, degrading content, racial hate, who started this thing and why? Here's the whole story. We specialize in all cultural hair braiding. Let's go take a look. Behind the whole Milwaukee. All hair is precious on Beecher in West Allis, is owned by Precious Reed. Precious with two S's. She opened the salon in April. I love my clients. I love the positive vibe. I love seeing women so happy. I love everything about it. The American dream that brought her to West Beecher started two years ago when she lost her factory job. I was thinking, what can I do? And I knew how to do hair. So I was thinking, how can I get a broader audience? And I was like, I should create a group called The Whole Milwaukee and get everybody in Milwaukee in it. And then once I got my clientele up from the group, The Whole Milwaukee, I was able to open my own salon. By then, her Facebook group was going gangbusters. Yeah, it ballooned. To more than 100,000 members. I think we just went over about 117,000. Yeah. Precious's friend, Eddie Parr, is the other administrator for the page. He uses it to promote clubs and entertainment. Me and Precious used it for what we, what we should use it for, which is networking, building our brands. But the whole of Milwaukee had a whole different idea. I can't even tell you what actually happened. I mean, um, it happened. Of course we didn't know it was gonna be, you know, the thing that it is today. And I didn't expect it to be the way it is either, as far as it's everything in there. As administrators, Precious and Eddie could put the kibosh on the controversial posts, but with so many members, that would be a monumental undertaking. They could even shut the whole thing down. But with such a big following, well, that would undermine the whole point of having the Facebook page in the first place. What they hope is people will take advantage of this huge public forum for what it was intended, to help the community better communicate and to help people build their businesses. If you have a business, promote your business. If you have a brand, promote your brand. And if that business is a drug business? If you're stupid enough to sell drugs online, you get what you get coming to you. Of course, people will say things on social media that they'd never say to you in person. That's wrong. You know, we shouldn't do that. We should uplift each other. And they tend to be a whole lot nicer face to face Everybody. than on Facebook. So just really show love to each other. Can I get a hug? Get a hug? <laughs> All right. You bet. Love you. Love you too, man. All right, so you might be wondering, does law enforcement want the page shut down? 
I couldn't really get a solid yes or no answer. They obviously can't condone people dealing drugs, but they don't seem to mind the fact that it makes their investigations a bit easier. By the way, I just checked the group now has like 120,000 members, and uh, I suspect we'll have even more after this story. Viewer beware, though. Yes, indeed. <laughs> know what you're getting yourself into. Good stuff, Brad. Thanks. Well,